Dawn on the Amazon, mist on the water, and somewhere beneath it, an arapaima takes its first breath of the day. I'm talking about a living relic, a fish as long as a door and built like a submarine. If you want to catch them on the move, you don't look at noon, you look at the edges of the day. At dawn and dusk, everything changes. Light drops, water cools, small fish, shrimp, insects drift out of cover. That's the arapaima's window. They're surface breathers, air gulpers, so low light is perfect. In the gloom, they rise silently, sip air, then slide under the slick like a shadow. With visibility low, sight-based prey, relax. Big mistake. An arapaima doesn't chase, it calculates. It feels micro-vibrations with that long lateral line. It stations along channels, flooded forest edges, submerged roots, the buffet lines of the river. Then, whoomp, one cavernous gulp, and the flow of water does the rest. Dawn. Insects fall from leaves, baitfish scatter, the river hums. Dusk. Heat bleeds off, the surface calms, silhouettes betray movement. In both windows, the arapaima's advantage is timing, not speed. You'll hear them before you see them. A hollow par at the surface every 10 to 20 minutes as they breathe. Count the intervals and you can map their patrols. Rain coming? Even better. Low pressure and dim skies stretch that twilight zone and the big ones get bold. By midday, prey hunker down, water warms, the arapaima settles, deeper, slower, more cautious. But at the bookends of the day, the river loosens its rules. I love that balance. The ancient fish, the soft light, the quiet math of survival. If you find yourself on a mirror still backwater at first light, listen. One breath on the surface can tell you the whole story. Respect the fish, respect the river, and remember, the Arapaima owns the hours we overlook, dawn and dusk. See you on the edges.